Three kings, uh, la 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 la. <laughs> okay, what you can do now is get me out Fantastic. some yogurt. Fantastic, nice, the nice. Right, it's happening in the yogurt. kitchen. So, where does the pa your passion for food come from? Was oh, it uh, my family? Passion, my passion for food comes from my mother and my grandmother, who Thank were you. absolute lovers of food. My mother, in particular, she'd like find recipes mm -hmm. in books and say, "Let's experiment." And so. I would never know when I was going to be like cooking or eating something that I'd never ever tasted before. Ice and sugar just there. And, and an orange with you. And it was great. And so I was exposed to lots of different kinds of foods that I would uh -huh. never normally expect to have. And what, what about uh, the, the company, you know, actually introducing that West Indian sort of influence into your food? Is, is, is that something that you've... Uh, had when you were young and now it's continued as you got a little bit older with your own children? Absolutely. Well, our kids, they're real connoisseurs of food. Mm. I mean, our kids love curry goat in particular. Mm. I went to a wedding, OK, once. It was a friend of ours' wedding. And he was marrying an Australian girl. And her folks came over from Australia. And one of the, her aunties went up and said, that's lovely. It was about her third or fourth helping. She said, I want some more. What is it? And the woman said, it's curry goat. Yes. And she had it and walked away and she said, you know, for a moment there, I thought you said goat. <laughs> <laughs> and it was goat. And it was, there, but it's it? fantastic. Well, people don't realise it. I suppose it's almost like, you know, we refer to lamb mutton or something like that. Yeah. A little bit stronger flavour. But it's if very you like the mutton. spices and something into it, it's really, really it's lovely. Amazing. Isn't it? really it's amazing. Really good. Absolutely well, amazing. Well, look at this. Tone, tell us what's happening here. Right, okay, what I've done is I've just I've kept the couscous quite plain, just with some water, mm -hmm. hot water, and soaked it. And now what I'm putting into it is raw peas mm. and raw carrots and a little bit of chilli, yeah. orange juice and olive oil. So we're going to get the softness of the, of the couscous, we're going to get the burst of the fresh, those beautiful fresh peas and uh, organic carrots. We're going to keep the crunch. Mm. You're going to get lots of lovely different keep textures the in crunch. there. Keep the crunch, that's nice. Right. Chef, the microwave's going. Do you want to have a look at your pudding here? Yep, should be ready. Mm-hmm. OK, uh, let's leave oh. Tone... Oh, that's a bit hot. <laughs> in fact, it was very hot. Did you burn yourself, Tone? No, it was heavy. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <she laughs> What's he like? Hey, let's get it's back to the Red there. Kitchen, guys. Thank you very much indeed. All sorts of activity there. It's quite interesting seeing how quickly you can cook pheasant, yeah, isn't it? Something we normally associate with roasting in the oven for absolutely ages. Not very much time to go. How are things going down here? Thanks for the beautiful voice. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? What are you going to be serving up at home for Christmas? Do you take it from work or do you cook at every... Do you get in the kitchen? I tend to, because right up until Christmas Day, we are absolutely round. You know, it's a festive yeah. season. It's yeah. so busy for us. But, yeah, I sort of... I get sort of... Get my hands dirty on Christmas Eve and bring it home. But I always um, do a cheap sort of turkey. Mm. So we blanch our turkeys beforehand with the legs off. Oh, yeah. It only takes two hours to cook them in the morning. So you can have a lie in after you've had a few drinks. And so how do you there. blanch them, Chef? Give us an idea. Um, what do so you we do? Get a, we get, I, I make a stock, either yeah. chicken stock or turkey stock. Put some mm. wonderful flavours in there. Uh -huh. um, good sort of mirepoix, so onions, carrots, that kind of thing. Yeah. And then what we do is. Uh, we just simply sort of dunk it in. I mean, a turkey, depending on the size, obviously. Um, we just sort of. Blanch it sort of about eight minutes in there. Yeah. And that cuts down on the cooking time, you know, unbelievable. Well, literally now. cuts it in half, doesn't it? Absolutely. And then you yeah. whack it in the uh, in the oven and roast it like you would normally would. Yeah. What have we got here? A bit of soup down on there. I'm making a sauce out of this. Yeah. So this is the roasted parsnips, bit of curry, bit of thyme, garlic, onions, the sweet potatoes. Yeah. Just cooked it out until the, all the flavours start releasing. And then it would make a lovely soup this time of year. Yeah. However, I'm going to serve it with a so uh, as a sauce yeah. for the uh, for the venison. I love curry parsley soup. I just Wonderful. think it's one of the one of the best things going, isn't it? Okay. Okay. How are you doing down there, Mrs? Yeah, all right. I think. Yeah. Coming together, with Kelly. I think she's done a fantastic job so far. It's all happening down yeah. here. This yeah, is great. the beautiful sauce. Look at that. Sorry, Ange. Okay, souffle, oh, uh, sweet souffle crepe, Ange. Yeah. We made a sa savoury crepe mix here. Yeah. Okay. We made our um, our base there, which is the uh, red currant jelly, yeah. the cooked down parsnips, the egg whites have been whisked up, a little bit of salt in it, because obviously using a sweet meringue. Okay. That would be um, that would be uh, that would be sort of adding sugar mm -hmm. as opposed to salt. Okay, chef. Yeah. Okay. So then that's uh, so that's 
all in there. So we've got red currant jelly, which I mixed with. I pureed the past it. Yeah. Then the red currant jelly, and then we've mixed them together with a little bit of corn flour. What a nice and idea. And the red, that, you know, parsnips are traditionally sweet, aren't they, guys? Mm. So let's not forget that. You've got the lovely sweet that's enhanced with the red currant jelly. Very, very nice. Good to indeed. go. Okay, ready to go in there. Where's that going? Can bring down here to me, and we'll make. Uh, we'll put, mm. we'll put it in. Do the spray. kids get involved with uh, the old cooking at Christmas? Oh, Saint totally. Yeah, I really believe. Like, like my mum was always one of those scary chefs that. Um, Whenever you cooked, it was like everything was such a big deal. Yeah. Uh, Two but, minutes to go. But she really taught me how to cook pastry yeah. and, and cakes. Yeah. So I think it's important that all children should learn those basics. Yeah. So my kids already know how to cook oh, pastry and cakes. And very briefly, the best present David's ever bought you for Christmas? Do you know, our best Christmas ever was weirdly um, about 15 years ago when we were very, down, so very, 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 very poor. Yeah. And um, one day I woke up, it was in September, and I said, it feels like Christmas today, it's kind of cold. And David said, why don't we have Christmas? And we said, OK, we've got a pound each. Let's go shopping. We went shopping separately. And three hours later, we reconvened. Yeah. And he bought me a mistletoe candle and he'd written me a song. Oh. And it was just so lovely. And I cried. Ah, and he won you over at the same time. Well, well yeah, we haven't been married for a while, though. I know, <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> Stayed it. Oh, very nice indeed. <laughs> OK, let's give you something to... Uh, where, where's that? You, you want to get those little crisps out, I think? Yeah, Here would you are. get those crisps out and just drain them for me? That'd be great. Uh, OK, be very, very careful. In you go. Let's leave the chefs okay. to get on no, with it, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. You know yeah, what's yeah, coming up. Great job. Doing a great job. If you could, uh, okay, very little time now, guys. We're talking seconds here. Seconds. Guys, have that. That's it. And they drain all that sauce all the way over there, make it look really. Forty-five good. seconds. Um, what am I saying here? What am I saying? Drain a little bit of kitchen paper. Kitchen paper. Okay. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. drizzle. Not like. Drizzle. <laughs> How's it going, Rich? Fuck it, I'll have them back. All right, darling, yourself? Yeah, we're there, we're there, man. I'm not. <laughs> OK, 30 seconds, guys. Very little time now. <laughs> OK, can I have those plastics oh. now? I really need those plastics now. Yeah. Where's the sauce? Mm. OK. Where do we go? OK, I've got Come on, let's speed this up now. Audience, right here we go. Here. Ten, nine, <laughs> eight. Have a look at today's Christmas menu. In the green kitchen, Tony and David have prepared pan-fried pheasant breast with a creamy mustard sauce, roast pheasant petit pois flamande with carrot game chips and a red wine jus, orange-scented couscous with carrots, peas and chilies, and finally, carrot, orange and yoghurt drizzle cakes. Ooh la la! Whilst over... Oh, yes! Whilst over in the red kitchen, Richard and Carrie have prepared venison tortoise with buttered curly kale and curried parsnip sauce followed by roast venison on a bed of thyme-scented crushed sweet potato with parsnip crisp and chocolate red wine sauce. And finally, red currant and parsnip souffle crepe. <laughs> I, I, I don't blame them. It all sounds so lovely, and hopefully we're getting you into the Christmas mood too. OK, man, you've been waiting very, very patiently. David, pick up your cutlery, have a bit of a go, tell us what you think. Eh, uh, eh, uh, Tone, what about this one? OK, this one... We, uh, we took the, the, the breasts off the pheasant, mm. uh, and one of the breasts I cut into little strips, mm. pan-fried it in some butter very, very quickly, yeah. deglass the pan, which means to mm. add a little bit of wine into the pan to yeah. lift any residue that's come off the pheasant, keeps all the flavour in there, hit it with a little bit of cream, a little bit of mustard, salt and pepper. We mm. set that on uh, orange-scented couscous, just plain, soaked in, in hot water, orange juice, olive oil, mm. and then I put in there, I put the raw... Uh, peas and carrots, which is unusual, but that, mm. the freshness and the crunch, they're so yeah. beautiful. Is that lovely? A little bit of chilli in there. Is that really good? If this were a woman, I would marry it. Oh, really? <laughs> Why don't you taste this one? The other breast, we, uh, we roasted off, got the pan nice and hot, seared yeah. it, finished it in the oven. With the legs, took them off, started browning them off with some onion, mm. bay leaf, a little bit of peppercorn in there, red wine, uh, water, chicken stock, a little bit of tomato puree, uh, cooked it for about 10 minutes, strained it off, reduced it down. It's such a shiny sauce. We sat that on top of petit pois mm. a la flamande, mm. which is uh, with batons of carrot, cooked in chicken stock, finished with peas, salt and pepper. Absolutely delicious. Mm. But now... Go on, then. Straight David, into there. Go on, David. David made this cake. Yeah. And he couldn't believe the time that he made it in. And this was a very simple recipe we did. Two ounces of butter, two ounces of sugar, two ounces of... Um, Self-raising flour, mm. one whole egg and an egg yolk, grated carrot. And the yoghurt drizzle. What do you think then, David? You know, it's Christmas, right? Mm. 
And this will make you believe there is a God. Oh. <laughs> when you eat this stuff, you've got to know. This is just like, oh, I've died and gone what? to heaven. That's Please come nice out to my house well, on Christmas Day. Oh, lovely. Go, you there. guys enjoy. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. He's laying it on, isn't he, Carrie? He did look He's nice. He's laying it on. He, he really was. Nice. He was in full flow there, your husband. <laughs> but it's your turn now. You've got some lovely mm. food here. And where shall she start, then? This is the, uh, the venison au poire, which um, I crusted with um, crushed some um, black pepper, white yeah. peppercorns, rolled it in there, then oh, roasted it, good. got a really good colour, cooked those peppercorns down, so just mm. subtle the flavours a little bit, so they're not too harsh. I've sort of, uh, buttered some curly kale down with a bit of roasted um, sweet potato. The sauce, which is fantastic, it's roasted parsnips, a little bit of thyme in there, mm. bay leaf, rosemary, some but garlic. So much work went into that, didn't a, it? An awful lot, but it's packed little... full of flavour. Yeah. Then we added a bit of curry, um, curry powder, cooked that out so it's not a floury texture, a little Beautiful. bit of stock on top, and then blended it. So that could be a wonderful soup or an amazing sauce as well. What do you think of it? Yeah, you just taste? keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> you keep it oh, it's amazing. Is it? I see what I love, and I can, I I already know what these are sort of going to taste like a bit. Is the savoury and the sweet together? Mm. I love that. Oh well, yeah, well you well. continue with that one. So this is uh, the sweet yeah. potato which I've cooked in um, mm. in some chicken stock with some mm. thyme, again some a little bit of garlic in there. Um, cook them to the tender, then crush them down with some um, chives, and some butter, and some olive oil. Potato chips here. Some nice parsnips, deep fried yeah. out. A little bit of paper, a touch of salt, just takes away the uh, the oiliness. Roasted the venison just naturally, just a nice colour. Four and a half minutes in the oven, a good rest. Is it wonderfully tender then, Carrie? Mm, really tender. Yeah. Red wine chocolate sauce to yeah. finish. That tastes lovely. It works yeah. so well. It's a great thing mm. to work with. I would okay, never chef. thought of putting chocolate on anything. No, savory. just mm. it, it, it's great. It's all about experimenting, cooking. This is our, for our vegetarians amongst mm. us. So we've got a. I roasted down some parsnips, mm -hmm. blended them with some red currant jelly, and then I um make, we mm. made a savoury crepe. Well, you made the savoury crepe. I did. Wished up the. Uh, crepe, so that's oh, there really it is. Good. Wished up the um, the egg whites. Mm. Folded in um, a little Go bit of corn flour, it. the red currant mm. jelly. Um, and the puree of parsnip, mm. and then put that in the oven. Once that goes into the oven, 200 degrees, it only needs two and a half, three minutes maximum. Souffle up, done. Red currant jelly is lovely. Is it? Mm, I'm really tasting All those lovely flavours come oh, through. Yeah. There you go. We're giving you that influence. Thank you very much indeed, by the way, both of you. That influence of the, you know working in a, an experienced kitchen, stuff that you could hopefully recreate at home. But uh, once again, down to our studio audience, what are they going to go for? Is it going to be David and Tony in the green kitchen? Or is it going to be Carrie and Richard in the red kitchen? Will you please vote now? OK, the tension builds as the flickering lights start to fill the boards. And there they go. Lots of greens coming through at the moment. The reds seem to be coming back. More greens over here than reds. But is it going to balance itself out? OK, sort this out. Tell me who's won today's 20-minute challenge. And you can see by one is the red kitchen! <laughs> Absolutely one in it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get one of these. Oh, lovely. I've got the apron. <laughs> which is just as well, considering you never wore one. <laughs> I'm bitter. Oh. I wanted to win. I know, but uh, oh. sometimes you've got to well compliment done, the done. wife and Richard, of course. Well done, well done both of you. And well done, uh, Carrie, I've got to say, we'd like to donate something towards your favourite charity this Christmas, which is NACC. NACC, lovely. Crohn's. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Have a great day. Well, I've got to say, uh, it's a tie now, David. It really is a tie, so we'll have to invite you and Carrie back. But we'll in the meantime, have a, have a cup of tea in your ready, steady cook mug. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. goes down the market, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tony. David, don't worry, it'll be on eBay tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just put it on eBay, I'll sort you out. <laughs> We've got more fabulous Christmas food coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. You had the quickie bags on the way, but in the meantime, let's say a very big thank you to our vocal heroes here. They've been great this afternoon, haven't they? Carrie and, of course, David Grant. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Today's Picky Bag Challenge comes from Tony Jordan and his uh, fellow pantomime stars here. Where are you guys based then, Tony? Well, hello there, Ainsley, my dear. Hello! hello. hello. Uh, we're from the Holy Cross Players, Greenford in Middlesex. Oh, fantastic. And what character are you playing this year, then? Uh, our new panto is going to be Puss in Boots in a, in a few weeks' time, yeah. and um, I'm dressed as Dame Norma Snickers. Mm. 
Ooh, and, and all uh, the rest. Yeah, yeah, let's push there. We got some characters from uh, Treasure Island uh, our oh, last year's pen as well. Well, you're all looking absolutely fantastic, considering it's an amateur production. And how long have you guys actually been going? Uh, 25 years. We're just coming to the end of our uh, silver anniversary year. And yeah. it's, been, it's been great. And, and uh, you give all your money and all, everything you get to charity, don't you? All the proceeds from our shows go to charities. Um, they're normally decided by the cast, yeah. and it's normally to a charity that has some relevance to some members of the cast. Fantastic. They, they're, 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 well, thank you very much indeed. Don't you just want to kiss him? Look at them lips. Look. <laughs> no, no, Ooh, no. get out of here. Give us <laughs> your bag. Give us your bag. Come over and have a, late, uh, have a taste later, love. All oh, right. Yes, dearie. Ooh, this is. Ooh, this is. Give him a round of applause. <laughs>